Lunch, an excerpt from American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. Lunch. I'm sitting in Duplex, the new Tony McManus restaurant in Tribeca, with Christopher Armstrong, who also works at PNP. We went to Exeter together. Then he went to the University of Pennsylvania and Wharton before moving to Manhattan. We inexplicably could not get reservations at subjects, so Armstrong suggested this place. Armstrong is wearing a four-button, double-breasted, chalk-striped, spread-collar cotton shirt by Christian Dior and a large, paisley-patterned silk tie by Givenchy Gentleman. His leather agenda and leather envelope, both by Bottega Veneta, lie on the third chair at our table, a good one up front by the window. I'm wearing a nail-head patterned worsted wool suit with overplaid from De Rigueur by Shonenman, a cotton broadcloth shirt by Bill Blass, a Macclesfield silk tie by Savoy, and a cotton handkerchief by Asher Brothers. A Muzak rendition of the score from Les Miserables plays lightly throughout the restaurant. Armstrong's girlfriend is Jody Stafford, who used to date Todd Hamlin, and this fact, plus the TV monitors hanging from the ceilings with closed-circuit video of chefs working in the kitchen, fills me with a nameless dread. Armstrong just got back from the islands and has a very deep, very even tan, but so do I. So, how were the Bahamas? I ask after we order. You just got back, right? Well, Taylor, Armstrong begins, staring at a point somewhere behind me and slightly above my head. On the column, there has been terracottaized, or perhaps on the exposed pipe that runs the length of the ceiling. Travelers looking for that perfect vacation this summer may do well to look south as far south as the Bahamas and the Caribbean islands. There are at least five smart reasons for visiting the Caribbean, including the weather and the festivals and events, the less crowded hotels and attractions, the price and the unique cultures. While many vacationers leave the cities in search of cooler climates during the summer months, few have realized that the Caribbean has a year-round climate of 75 to 85 degrees, and that the islands are constantly cooled by the trade winds. <laughs> it's frequently hotter north, and on the Patty Winter show this morning, the topic was toddler murderers. In the studio audience were parents of children who'd been kidnapped, tortured, and murdered while on a stage a panel of psychiatrists and pediatricians were trying to help them cope, somewhat futilely, I might add, and much to my delight, with their confusion and anger. But what really cracks me up was, via satellite on a lone TV monitor, three convicted toddler murderers on death row who, due to fairly complicated legal loopholes, were now seeking parole and would probably get it. But something kept distracting me while I watched the huge Sony TV over a breakfast of sliced kiwi and Japanese apple pear, Evian water, oat bran muffins, soy milk and cinnamon granola, ruining my enjoyment of the grieving mothers. And it wasn't until the show was almost over that I figured out what it was. The crack above my David Annika that I had asked the doorman to tell the superintendent to fix. On my way out this morning, I stopped at the front desk, about to complain to the doorman when I was confronted with a new doorman, my age but balding and homely and fat. Three glazed jelly donuts and two steaming cups of extra dark hot chocolate lay on the desk in front of him beside a copy of the post open to the comics, and it struck me that I was infinitely better looking, more successful, and richer 
than this poor bastard would ever be. And so with a passing rush of sympathy I smiled and nodded a curt, though not impolite, good morning, without logic and complaint. Oh, really? I find myself saying loudly, completely uninterested, to Armstrong. Like the United States, it celebrates the summer months with festivals and special events including music concerts, art exhibits, street fairs, and sporting tournaments. And because of the vast number of people traveling elsewhere, the islands are less crowded, allowing for better service and no lines when waiting to use that sailboat or dine in that restaurant. I mean, I think most people go to sample the culture, the food, the history. On the way to Wall Street this morning, due to gridlock, I had to get out of the company car and was walking down Fifth Avenue to find a subway station when I passed what I thought was a Halloween parade which was disorienting since I was fairly sure this was May. When I stopped on the corner of 16th Street and made a closer inspection, it turned out to be something called a gay pride parade, which made my stomach turn. Homosexuals proudly marched down Fifth Avenue, pink triangles emblazoned on pastel-colored windbreakers, some even holding hands, most singing somewhere, out of key and in unison. I stood in front of Paul Smith and watched with a certain traumatized fascination, my mind reeling with the concept that a human being, a man, could feel pride over sodomizing another man. But when I began to receive fey catcalls from aging, over-muscled beach boys with walrus-like mustaches in between the lines, there's a place for us, somewhere, a place for us. I sprinted over to 6th Avenue, decided to be late for the office, and took a cab back to my apartment where I put on a new suit by Cerruti, 1881, gave myself a pedicure, and tortured to death a small dog I had bought earlier this week in a pet store on Lexington. Armstrong drones on. Water sports are, of course, the leading attraction, but golf courses and tennis courts are in excellent condition, and the pros at many of the resorts are made more available during the summer. Many of the courts are lit for night playing as well. Fuck yourself, Armstrong, I'm thinking, while staring out the window at the gridlock and pacing bums on Church Street appetizers arrive. Sun-dried tomato brioche for Armstrong, poblano chilies with an oniony orange-purple marmalade on the side for me. I hope Armstrong doesn't want to pay, because I need to show the dim-witted bastard that I in fact do have a platinum American Express card. I feel very sad at this moment for some reason, listening to Armstrong, and a lump forms in my throat, but I swallow and take a sip from my corona, and the emotion passes, and during a pause while he's chewing, I ask, The food? How's the food? Almost involuntarily thinking about anything but. Good question! As for dining out, the Caribbean has become more attractive as the island cuisine has mixed well with the European culture. Many of the restaurants are owned and managed by Americans, British, French, Italian, even Dutch expatriates. Mercifully, he pauses, taking a bite out of his brioche, which looks like a sponge drenched in blood. His brioche looks like a big, bloody sponge, and he washes it down with a sip from his Corona. My turn. How about sightseeing? I ask, disinterestedly, concentrating on the blackened chilies, the yellowish marmalade circling the plate in an artful octagon, cilantro leaves circling the marmalade, chili seeds circling the cilantro leaves. Sightseeing is highlighted by the European culture which established many of the islands as regional fortresses in the 1700s. Visitors can see the various spots where Columbus landed, 
and as we near the 300th anniversary of his first sailing in 1590, there is a heightened awareness in the islands as to the history and culture that is an integral part of island life. Armstrong, you are an asshole. Uh-huh, I nod. Well, paisley ties, plaid suits, my aerobics class, returning videotapes, spices to pick up from Zabar's, beggars, white chocolate truffles, the sickening scent of Drakkar Noir, which is what Christopher is wearing, floats over near my face, mingling with the scent of the marmalade and cilantro, the onions and the blackened chilies. Uh-huh, I say, repeat. And for the active vacationer, there is mountain climbing, cave exploration, sailing, horseback riding, and white water river rafting. And for the gamblers, there are casinos on many of the islands. Fleetingly, I imagine pulling out my knife, slicing a wrist, one of mine, aiming the spurting vein at Armstrong's head, or better yet, his suit, wondering if he would still continue to talk. I consider getting up without excusing myself, taking a cab to another restaurant somewhere in Soho, maybe farther uptown, having a drink, using the restroom, maybe even making a phone call to Evelyn, coming back to Duplex, and every molecule that makes up my body tells me that Armstrong would still be talking about not only his vacation, but what seems like the world's vacation in the fucking Bahamas. Somewhere along the line, the waiter removes half-eaten appetizers, brings fresh Coronas, free-range chicken with raspberry vinegar and guacamole, calf's liver with shad roe and leeks, and though I'm not sure who ordered what, it doesn't really matter, since both plates look exactly the same. I end up with the free-range chicken with extra tomatillo sauce, I think. Visitors to the Caribbean don't need a passport, just proof of U.S. citizenship. <laughs> and even better, Taylor, is that language is no barrier. English is spoken everywhere, even on those islands where the local language is French or Spanish. Most of the islands are former British, my life is a living hell. I mention off the cuff while casually moving leeks around on my plate, which, by the way, is a porcelain triangle. And there are many more people I, uh, want to, want to, well, I guess, murder. I say this, emphasizing the last word, staring straight into Armstrong's face. Service has improved the islands as both American Airlines and Eastern Airlines have created hubs in San Juan where they have set up connecting flights to those islands they don't serve with direct flights. With additional service from BWIA, Pan Am, ALM, Air Jamaica, Bahamas Air, and Cayman Airways, most islands are easy to reach. There are additional connections within the islands from LIAT and BWIA, which provide a series of scheduled island hopping flights. Someone who I think is Charles Fletcher walks over while Armstrong keeps talking and he pats me on the shoulder and says, Hey Simpson, and see you at Flutie's. And then at the door meets up with a very attractive woman, big tits, blonde, tight dress, not his secretary, not his wife, and they leave duplex together in a black limousine. Armstrong is still eating, cutting into the perfectly square slices of calf's liver, and he keeps talking while I become increasingly mournful. Vacationers who can't take a full week away will find the Caribbean an ideal spot for the alternative weekend escape. Eastern Airlines has created its Weekender Club, which includes many Caribbean destinations and enables members to visit many places at sharply reduced prices, which I know doesn't matter, but I still think people are going 